Welcome to the how to give feedback video. So I already have the guide written out on our school page. So I have the notes here for y'all. Um, so I make sure that I don't miss anything. But giving feedback is a really, really delicate process. Um, I want you guys to be jumping in. I want you guys to be celebrating each other's wins. But when it comes to giving feedback, especially in our communities, um, there is going to be a strict set of rules. These may change in the future as, you know, more... Um, uh, experienced educators join our space and they want to help out and things like that. But for the start, this is how the feedback model is going to work. I am going to be quite bullish on this. I will try my best not to delete comments, but seriously, if you don't follow these rules, uh, I really hate moderating, but I will moderate. Um, uh, I This feedback is about lifting and helping people progress. Um, shitting on people, like when I say like, you know, you don't know how someone's going to take criticism and sometimes you might think it's constructive, but it's not actually constructive. Um, so unless you are experienced in it, please don't do it. Um, so we're just going to jump into the rules first. Now there's two steps to the, to the feedback loop that how it goes. So there's going to be you as the poster, because if you're part of our community, including myself, I will be posting content. Um, and you guys will be posting content of yourselves practicing, and then the feedback loop begins. Now, first step, you are going to post a video of yourself playing or doing something in the school page. Now, the next step, very important, when you make your post, you will post a video, and you'll post like day two progress or whatever, or day three progress or whatever it is that you've set your goal for, and you, you post or whatever it is going to be. Um, ideally I would like you guys to label in like the progress of where you're at. So like day one, this is the thing, day two, day three, day four. So we can like keep track of it chronologically in the future. Um, but you're going to post the video, link it up from your YouTube, make sure it's an unlisted video. Uh, then what you're going to do is you as the poster are going to critique it. So you are going to look at it. Don't put in the post, Hey, here's me after day two of doing it. And then you leave us. No, you as the person posting the video are going to watch the video and you are going to tell us first before any of us give you critique what you are going to do better next time. What is the thing that you were like, this is the problem in that I'm facing and this is the thing that I'm going to focus on tomorrow. You let us know immediately so we know what you see. I need to know what you are seeing in your playing um, that, that you want to improve on. The goal of the feedback loop and, and the success of the feedback loop comes from all of you becoming the kinds of musicians that know how to self-assess. It is a really underrated skill. It's a skill that is not trained. Um, it's a thing that I had to work really, really hard on myself um, because I would get feedback from different people that some of them had good context. Some of them didn't have good context. They didn't know what I was thinking. They didn't know whether I gave it my all or didn't. They don't know what I am doing in the practice room. They only see that little snippet of what's going on. So you will know exactly like, okay, I did post this video, but this is the area I'm working on. You know, I'm not focused on this thing, but this is the thing I'm working on. And this is where I'm finding the negatives and this is how I'm going to improve. So you will be self-assessing what you do in, this vi in the video that you post. So in... You post your video and then you write to us, I'm working on this. This is what I want to work on tomorrow. Um, and thank you. And that's it. Uh, you critique yourself. Now, once that's done, just you know, leave it. It's all done. You are done. You have achieved the result of getting practice in, recording your practice, and then posting it. That is so huge. You don't understand. You will see after a few days the value of you doing that a couple of times. Uh, the accountability is huge. And then so step three is just like farm the likes. We're going to be liking that video. Everyone in the chat, like everyone in our community, just jump in, like the video immediately. Let every like let them know if you've watched it by liking it. So just farm the likes and then just wait for the feedback to come. Now... That's the first part. So that's the person who is posting the content that is going to be generating feedback. Now, if you are on the next side, which all of us will be, we will all be seeing posts and now we're on the side of giving feedback. Now, step one, 
Only I give feedback. Luan is the only person who will be giving constructive criticism. So if the feedback is in the form of constructive criticism, as in, hey, you need to fix this. Um, this is the area that you might not be seeing. That is the only time that I should ever see that form of uh, feedback in a post. Luan is the only one. Please. Uh, I understand that many of you will have experience in playing. Uh, some of you might be guitar instructors yourselves or anything like that. But in order for me to achieve my goal with how I want to instruct, um, you have to hold your tongue. You have to just be like, okay, Luan has asked this of me. I will not step on his toes. I will do what he says because I love this community and I just want to see everyone grow. I will trust in Luan's process. So please, step one is do not give constructive criticism. And and this should be going out with the saying, do not give criticism. Like, I don't want to see that. Um, practice is a delicate place. People are giving their most vulnerable selves when they're, when they're putting their, their content out there. They are showing us their vulnerabilities in their playing. They are being like, hey, I suck at this and I'm trying to get better. Here we go. Um, so if you are not experienced in it, which 99% of you are not, um, and a lot of guitar instructors do not understand this technique either. Um, I just, I, I love the enthusiasm that everyone will have, but strictly no criticism and no constructive criticism. The only time you're going to be seeing constructive criticism will be me. And um, if you guys want to call me out on what kind of criticism I give, if it's not good enough or whatever, you guys can DM me. Uh, but straight off the get-go, we are cutting that, the head off the snake immediately there. So constructive criticism is a no is a absolute no go zone for anyone who's doing content um, within our community. Now, step two, this pertains to everyone. Now, I would love that if you look at the video that someone does, find the thing that they are doing right. It is very very easy for a human to assess what they are doing wrong. That is what the self assessment process is for. The person who is posting the video is going to give us an assessment of what they think they are doing wrong. I will correct what I think they, they might be doing wrong in case they are moving the needle towards the wrong way. But, you know, nine times out of 10, people know what they're doing wrong. And it's very easy for people to pick out the flaws. But, but on the other end, you want to be the kind of person who can pick out what they're doing right. Because sometimes they might pick up on like little things that have developed over time, but they're not seeing. And you need to be the voice of support and encouragement watching what they are doing right. So you can be like, oh man, you know, 10 seconds in, you like really locked in on that groove. Like I felt it. Like there was a moment I loved it. Or, you know, I loved how you sang that melody. You got all the notes right. I loved how you got this. Or I loved how, like spot the things that they do right. They are not really going to sit down and be like, ah, I nailed that melody. There's very few people that I've met in my life that are actually like that. And they're not going to be part of our community because they're usually quite obnoxious. So um, they they just don't, they just don't see anything. Uh, they just like only see their like I'm um, the shit and they don't want to get better. So typically everyone here is wanting to get better and they're not thinking that way. So they will be able to self-assess and we will train them to be better and better at finding um, ways to improve. So give them good feedback in the sense of what are they doing right? Now, this goes with step three, like step two and step three kind of go hand in hand. Please give them room to grow. Like I said, do not criticize what they do. We want them to find, like we want the person making the post, find the room for their growth. They need to learn how to assess. Anytime you guys are jumping in and be like, hey, do this, hey, do this, hey, do this. It's not going to help them, please. Um, I know you think it might help them. It doesn't. You need to give people the space to figure it out themselves. If they learn to figure it out themselves, then the feedback loop that they will build in their own head will become so amazing that they will just grow faster and faster on their own. And my goal with this whole program is to make you guys just such good musicians that you can. You don't need me. You don't need anyone to tell you what to do. You can take information in and you can assess it and you can put in the work and you can see the growth and you can help yourself but take 
your, yourself to the next level. And all you need is other people to help you pivot, 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 and that's it. You don't need to have someone there telling you, oh, do this, do this, do this, do this. You know, you just have someone who can be like, oh, you are going this way, just go like that, and you should be a bit better. That directionally correct, that's what we're here to do. So please give everyone their room to grow, give everyone their room to self-assess and grow as, um, as a musician and, a, and as a learner. Now, step four, um, this is when it comes to feedback and giving feedback. Uh, this is the only part that I will allow, um, but it is not criticism. Now, so say for instance, I really feel strongly about it. Like say you're one of our guitar instructors, or like there's someone in here who has a lot of experience, firsthand experience with a problem that someone is facing. You need to approach this not from like, hey, do this. But one thing that you can do that I will allow is, hey, I had this problem and this is what I did. So for instance, I give, I've given an example. So say someone is learning how to play neon or blah, blah, blah like this. And I'm like, man, I feel your pain working through the start of neon. It took me a while to lock in the groove. But once I got the bass notes in time, I really progress fast. Can't wait to see what, what happens after a week of you doing this. You know, that is fine. You know? Like to me saying, this is what I had to go through or be like, man, I feel the pain because watching you do this reminds me of when I had to do X and it took me this long to do it. And if you can learn to share in the experience, that's healthy because it, it gives them the, the feeling of like, I'm not alone, you know, because practice is a painful experience um, and we are trying to mitigate all the pain points that it is and that's what community does and accountability within the community now step five celebrate the wins that's all i can say when someone absolutely nails it show them that they nailed it just be there like let's go every time someone has a huge win and like say they've been working three days to try and get something good um be in there like if they like play something in time Oh my God, like jump in, be like, hell yeah, you've got this. Can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. This is absolutely sick. Your progress is amazing. Like give them the roses that they deserve. Um, that's what we're all here about. Like um, I know it's a bit like sappy and a bit like, you know, a bit far-fetched, but trust me, this is what it's all about. You want to give people the kudos that they deserve when they earn it and then, and that's what's going to make them want to do more. Um, it's really, really hard to like be satisfied on your own. Like it's really, really hard to sit there in the practice room and be like, oh my God, I nailed it. Did anyone else see that? And then no one else sees it and it's not documented and no one's gonna like, you're not gonna walk back home and be like, check out what I can do. Like, No, people don't really like care, right? But we do. So. Uh, when you're posting something and you win, just know that we are going to care. I am going to care. When you nail it, I'm going to be there cheering you on because I know how hard it is to practice and I know how hard it is to try and I know how hard it is to fail. And and I want you guys to know that you're not alone in the fails and the triumphs. And we are here to help that, help that just become like a big win. Anyway. That is pretty much all I wanted to go on the feedback guide. Um, obviously, it's documented on the school post, but this is me visually and vocalizing what these steps are and just giving you a bit more context on how I want this to be approached. So please um, respect my wishes when it comes to feedback. Um, I don't want to be policing this. I want you guys to all succeed. I want it to be a really healthy community. This is the goal. Um, and let's keep striving to being awesome and having heaps of fun. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.